Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to finish your stairs. Uh, we've already made uh, the stairs from the first floor to the second floor. We made our uh, modifications of the stairs by moving them around and aligning them to walls in our, on our first floor. And actually designed some walls around the stairs, especially that wall that went into the closet and into the hallway. And then in the second floor, we made a cutout for the stairs. So one apparent glaring thing that's a problem with the stairs right now is that there's a big opening to the stairs. And if we're going to make this a kid's uh, play area up here, um, that could be kind of a uh, safety hazard. So one way to mitigate that is put some railings up here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to our second floor and look at our opening. And what we have is a railing that goes around, but the railing doesn't really penetrate the second floor until over here. So what we want to do probably is put a railing around this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge and uh, bring that all the way around. Another option here, since the stairs are already kind of bound in the first floor, we like the way the first floor looks, we haven't designed the second floor, it's an opportunity to put a wall over here to close the back of the stairs off. And we could do that as an option. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's put a wall back there and I'll show you how to line that wall and then we'll put a rail in that edge, that edge, and this edge to kind of finish that up. So go to home tab, go to wall, we're going to choose our interior wall, four and a half inch and uh, we'll kind of exaggerate that a little bit and bring it away from the stairs and just bring it all the way across maybe we'll have two bedrooms in the back but in the second floor we need to put our kitchen and uh, living room up here too kitchen dining room and living room so we need to consider that too it does look like that wall really terminates into this wall so I'll exaggerate that and bring that out so it'll properly terminate there and let's go and do this. We don't want to move the stairs because it's aligned to that wall downstairs. But let's take the, the wall and move it to the stairs. So go to the Modify tab. Go to the Alignment button. Click on the stairs over here. You want to make sure you're selecting the stairs and not the railing. So we do have the stairs here. And then click on the wall. And then let's lock that into place. So that takes care of that uh, funny little area. And let's take a look at that second floor stairs and see how that looks. Okay, that looks good. We got a wall there. It'd be nice to make this, uh, excuse me, this uh, wall continuous. So the wall below that, what we have is a floor that's sticking out, and that could be modified later. But let's go ahead and put railings in here and finish this up. So let's go back to our second floor and go to the railings button. It's on the home tab. It's uh, in the area called circulation. We're going to go to railing. And uh, we can pick the type of railing that we like. Uh, right now it's a rectangular railing, which is on the stairs. And we didn't go through a lot of options for stairs, but there are a couple different options in how to build the stairs. And you could always go to Revit City and uh, Autodesk Seek in order to find additional options. Guardrail pipe, guardrail rectangular, handrail pipe, and handrail rectangular. That's certain what guardrail pipe is, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. I think that might be an exterior element. Personally, I never saw that as a selection before, but we'll soon find out. Draw a line, terminates the line, draw the line again. I get the feeling this is probably going to be objectionable. But you don't have enclosed geometry here, you just have a line where the railings are going to go on. And then check mark. And boy, it's got something substantial in there. Let's go ahead and take a look at that in our 3D, in our second floor stair view. And, uh, well, that's not bad. That's not bad. So what it does is it gives you a handrail on one side and then a guardrail on the other. So the handrail is probably on the wrong side. Let's go back to our second floor. And I suspect that if we click on that railing, it's going to give us a, uh, an option to reverse the side. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to reverse the side. We only see one here, actually. So it doesn't allow us like a wall to do or to, where we can select individual walls to, uh, to flip. This is going to take the whole unit and flip that over. So, we already got that changed. Let's go back to our camera view and take a look at that. A lot of times this is an iterative process. And if you get really close, you'll notice that the handrail actually goes into this railing here. So we might want to move that railing back. Yeah, it looks like it's out there in the middle. Let's try that again. A lot of times this design is iterative. So let's click on that railing. Let's move it back to the outside. And take a look at that. Let's go back to our camera view. So now the, the, the railing is actually planted on the floor, but it's uh, the hand railing is still on the outside. So two things we want to do. Let's go back to our second floor, click on that railing, flip it again, put it on the inside. And let's take that boundary and edit the boundary a little bit. So edit path. So instead of putting it right on the edge, let's go ahead and offset it off the edge. Remember our arrow keys? I'm not certain how far it's going to offset that. 
I press it three times. Well, let's do this. Let's take this dimension, make it a permanent dimension. And now, let's go ahead and click that magenta line and move it off maybe four times in the arrow keys. Now we're going to take this dimension, take that middle grip, and put that on the edge of the stairs and see what that is. So it's four inches. Let's do that to the other ones. One, two, three, four. It's one inch per tap on the arrow keys. Now it might be enough, it might be too much. Go to the check mark. Again, all part of the iterative process. Go to our second floor camera view and take a look at that. And that, that looks a lot better to me. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with this. I think it uh, demonstrates uh, what I was trying to do with the railing. And uh, yeah, join me for other videos, please.